Oh my gosh, look at him move out. <laughs> Hi, my good friends. How are you guys? My name's Denise, and I'm here to tell you a bedtime story. So to finish off these short little stories, I wanted to read A House for Hermit Crab. I don't know if you guys know what hermit crabs are, but they're little crustaceans that once they get bigger, they move out of their shell and into a bigger one. So let's see what this book is about. Go ahead and go grab your stuffed animals. I have mine right here, of course. I'm gonna give Mark a big old hug. Oh, thank you, Mark. Say hi to the friends. All right, let's do it. This is called A House for Hermit Crab. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I'm grown too... I've grown too big for this little shell. He held, he had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit crab stepped out of his shell and onto the floor of the ocean, but it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside it to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looked so, well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would, would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It's so plain, it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the sea floor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would, would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked Krusty Coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock in the ocean. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help me clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Those snails, they have a shell too. His shell's looking pretty nice now. <clears throat> In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, 
hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. He's got all the fixins now. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark in here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like a nightmare, cried the sea urchin. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of flanternfish fish darting across the dark water. How bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one of the lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. I love all these people that are trying to help him. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would, would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, said, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect. <clears throat> but in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little, over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another, bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They've been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They're like a family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? I have outgrown my house too, answered hermit crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought. Barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. <laughs> He's ready to redecorate his house. What a fun little story with all sorts of different sea creatures in there. And I love the sea. That's where Bart comes from. So it's a really big part of us. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys like that book, and I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you guys so much for letting me inside your homes, and you know what I have to do, right? I have to hug Mark. You go ahead and hug your stuffies. One, two, three. Oh, thanks for being there, Mark. Wave bye. Bye, guys.